They make the turn now to bring them towards the fourth last fence and it is still Freewheel and Dylan from Creed and Grey on the outside just in between the megalomaniac she's getting there Moonshine Bay's on the outside of Swing Bridge these five are followed by the big lens Full Cry is next now just being ridden along behind them is Judgment Day three musketeers in the red is picking up with the red cap of Plinth in there too they are getting away from Woods Well four from home and it's Freewheel and Dylan who's over in front for the Dermot McLaughlin team from Megalomaniac Rachel Blackmore aboard then towards the outside is Moonshine Bay and Robert Power Swing Bridge is next the mount of Kevin Sexton they're being followed by the big lens and Luke Dempsey Creed and Greys come under pressure Plint and on the inside three musketeers well poised still just getting a push out there was full cry to switch wider Creed and Grey next now they turn along the back straight and make their way towards these two fences which come up a little closer together and it's still Freewheel and Dylan Megalomaniac Swing Bridge and Moonshine Bay they're being followed just behind by the big lens three musketeers just behind the plinth towards this one's outside and then behind these comes full cry you forget the rest as they head now on the round turn it is still Freewheel and Dylan Moonshine Bay the outside of Swingbridge Megalomaniac is next that's the second last and they begin now the turn towards home and the Axa Farm Insurance Midlands National and Freewheel and Dylan they're all trying to get to him but he's rolling away in front from in second Moonshine Bay Swingbridge still goes well towards the inside coming under pressure is Plinth with Moonshine Bay in the big lens three musketeers has work to do and they've gone away from Megalomaniac has dropped out quickly now Freewheel and Dylan's come under pressure but he's picking up for a reminder under Ricky Doyle now they're coming to challenge it's tight to the last swing bridge in the center on the outside is plinth right behind them is three musketeers the big lens isn't out of it but freewheel and dylan oh, it's four in line almost far side is plinth and in the center is swing bridge but freewheel and dylan he's hanging on to the lead at this stage he deserves it no room on the inside for three musketeers less for the big lens it's freewheel and dylan all oh, three musketeers oh that's tight wow that is tight and that will take some renewing because freewheel and dylan tightened up three musketeers to the line swing bridge was next in front of plinth and the big lens ran right out of room that race is going to take a lot of assessment and that's only when the judge tells us what won that was that was incredible right? I Dave can't be it. sure initially I thought Davy and the red colours and the inside to get up but free will and Dylan, Dylan's head is down if he has got up both riders from the front, Ricky Doyle, has made every step of the running and Davy Russell in behind saved every inch of room, Ruby, and he rode the perfect waiting race. He sure did. Ricky Doyle turns off the bend there with his stick in his left hand in front, but he needs to keep this horse in. Puts it into his right hand, going to the last because there's no running well. Now he needs to switch it back quick, but he keeps it in his right, get it, gets it out in his left, horse drifts. Davy goes for the gap on the inside, but to do so, Davy has to nail the big lens and in turn, freewheel and Dylan keeps him tight. Um, Oh, I don't know. Oh, you got a great finish. Very, I think you got up, did he? Very hard call to make, especially <coughs> our camera angle doesn't tell us a whole point. There is no home straight really in Kilbegan, so our head on isn't really going to tell us a whole point. But Davy went on the outside in the red colours, Ruby, but he decided I can't win from here. I have to be brave. You get over this fence, he has no choice. Come inside or don't win. Yeah, it turns all the way up here. You'll see it now in this angle better. Plint the right with his challenge going to the last. Um, but there, I. I he, if David have to have gotten up, if he's not up, he won't get it in the showroom. No, but will he get days? Will he? Will he? He badly impeded the big lens in the he, green colours. He, he definitely, he definitely, he definitely well. did. He, look, he made his own room, made his own gap. We'll have to see what the judge calls. But initially, when you thought it, you thought maybe free will and Dylan tighten him. He didn't. Ricky Doyle, in fairness to him, has held his line. Davies had the barge through and tightened the big lens. We'll have to see what the judge calls. But if free will and Dylan is home in front, he's up. Free Will and Dillard has just been called the winner. He'll be keeping it because the interference was Davy Russell with the big Yes, lens. absolutely. And to be fair, Free Will and Dillon, we said he was a core specialist coming into this race and Ricky Doyle did everything right in front of him. He didn't miss a beat. They all